What's up, it's your boy, AF to the Z, back in the house. And uh, that's something I really need to speak on, because the internet ain't sh Now, check this out. I've been on this YouTube shit. I already passed my 30 seconds, so I can say it now. Uh, I've been on YouTube for the better part of the last decade. And never in my life have I found myself actually mad at the platform. Now, when I put up certain projects, hey, they, they're automatically demonetized, I, I know I'm an okay man. Hell, I've had wondrous looking projects that I've... Mm, Oh, sorry. Uh, the wondrous projects that I've put up that I will never see the light of day. And I've never complained. But I saw something today that made my freaking blood boil. I am that mad. Because I want to make sure that my words get across to each and every person who my words can reach. Because this platform... This platform has gone too far. Smell like bitch in here, All y'all smell like bitch to me. Check this out. As you've seen over the years of my page, I don't post nothing political. All right? I made that mistake once in 2020. And all that did was, A, make me lose a bunch of subscribers, and B, have a bunch of angry racist white people talking shit in my comments. So I decided that I'm going to stay off politics, period. Period. No more politics on my page. Why the fuck do you people have political ads on my page? What? What the fuck? I hopped on my laptop over here to go ahead and see. Because I was curious. What kind of ads were these people really putting on my page? So... I went, I just put my recent, uh, the second part of my Resident Evil stream up, did the auto ad thing, see, they put like a bunch of ads, no, i probably, if I was doing ads myself, I'd put like four or five tops, they put like 20, and each one is an hour long of conservative pundits talking shit, what the fuck with, my, how, does my page give off to tell YouTube Put conservative bullshit on my page. Now, if it was liberal bullshit, I'd feel the same. All right, I've never gone out to 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 endorse any candidate of any freaking whatever. All right, I, I'm politically speaking, I'm a centrist. I do lean a little bit to the left. I'll give them that. I'll be fair about that, but not to the point where. I'm going to put up anything like, oh my God, vote for Kamala Harris, or oh my God, vote for Joe Biden. In fact, when they said Joe Biden was going to be the, 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 the nominee back in, uh, in, in, in 2020, you know what I'm saying? And then, but look, like, I was just like, yo, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is some bullshit. But that's another story for another day, which will not appear on this channel. Uh, we, we don't do that here. So how come when I go ahead, my video ran for five minutes, and it loaded an hour-long video. No, no, I understand it was like a 30-second ad, maybe a two-minute ad, maybe even a five-minute ad. An hour-long podcast or whatever of some scrawny, bone-faced white lady talking shit out of her ass because she's getting paid to do it because you know how these grifters are on the internet. Does my watch time not mean anything to you, YouTube? Yeah, I understand I'm a small channel. Only got like 2K subs. Alright? Uh, 2.2 and dropping. Alright? So I'm trying to put something together and get my, get my peoples that are following me back interested in the product. Know what I mean? I'm trying to grow. So how am I supposed to grow when for every five minutes of my material, you put hour long bullshit pundit like like I said I'm fucking I'm fucking mad I'm fucking mad alright and the shit is it's not it's not fucking cool 
All right. I just went off on Twitter just now. All right. And I'm just like, come on. If I'm watching a, if I'm watching a dude stream Resident Evil, why the hell would you get the idea that I want to see some political bullshit? All right. And it's not even like one of the big names. All right. It's not like it's like Candace Owens or Tommy Lahren or you know people you've heard of. It's a bunch of nobodies. And I'm guessing this is how they get their numbers up to put these people on these elevated platforms. That's called a grift, people. That is called bullshit. And the bullshit needs to fucking stop. And YouTube, you are equally as responsible because you're the ones that are allowing this shit to happen. Well, why are you boring me? I'm right. Alright? If I want to put hour-long advertisements on other people's content, I don't get that watch time. I don't get any revenue for somebody having to watch an hour-long commercial. I don't get that. Like, it's literally like, like if you have one show, and then it's in the middle of the show, a whole other show comes on and goes, hey, watch our channel. But you have to watch this whole episode. You know what I mean? Like, some people just like to put some shit on and let it play in the background. That's watch time I'm losing. That's money I'm not making. All right? Earlier last year, um, earlier this year, you had me fight to get my monetization back. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, AFCZ. Now, normally, when it comes to something like this, I would sit down at my desk and make this nice, elaborate presentation. You had me demonetized for a month and a half back in March. Remember that? Remember that, YouTube? And now, you're going to take away my watch time? And give it to some conservative pundit white lady that has nothing to do with me, my interests, my brand, or anything like that? Shame on you. Shame on you. And I hope whoever made the decision to allow this loses their job. Because you deserve a pink slip for this shit. And once again, you're just proving to the world that the internet ain't shit. I've been Aleph F Zero. I'm your, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Got your, you know, I'm your man's like 50 grand and I got your back like chiropractic. We out this piece like Fat kids in dodgeball. Deuces. Motherfuckers over here. Chill my shit. What the fuck are you talking about?